Mr. Pinecone can now work with local project images. So here I have a template that we want to customize. And here we have a folder with project images. So we have like some fruits, animals, and vegetables, and I guess some sports as well. But now if we ask the AI assistant to find the best image, It doesn't use project images, and instead it uses unsplash images from the internet. And But in this case, we want to use the images that we have here in the project. So now this is possible. So first, we have to tell the AI assistant in which folders it should look for project images. So here we have images folder. We right click and then go scan under the AI library. We say scan images in this folder. Yes. So this is specific for the desktop version in PineGrow. For PineGrow Online and PineGrow WordPress plugin, all, pro all project images are automatically included and indexed. So with this, here it's a small icon that says that these images are included in the AI library. So next step, we have to go to the AI Assistant panel. And here we have an icon for updating the AI library. So after making a change, like we did now when we uh, included this folder, of images in the AI library, or if we would add or remove images, we have to go here, say images, and update all changed images. And then we have a kind of confirmation dialog that says how many images will be updated and also approximately how, that, how much that will cost in our open AI uh, credits. So this is just a rough, rough estimate, and most likely the amount is lower than what is displayed here. But in case you would have a folder with thousands of images, it makes sense to show up uh, this notice. So let's say yes, proceed. And this opens an AI library update window. So now what happens? Every image is sent to the vision model um, and so that we get the description of the image and then that description is uh, and like uh, turned into vectors, vector embeds. And then each PineGrow project has a, its own uh, local database, its own vector database that we then use to search like the images or other items that fit best uh, for whatever purpose we are searching for. So all of this happens in the background and you don't really have to know much about it. It's just good to have this information. And we can close this box, this uh, dialog. The process still goes on in the background. And if we go again, Images update, the update window comes back and we can see where we are at the moment. Let's close this and let it run in the background and we have some images that are already indexed. So let's try to use it. Let's ask the AI assistant to show images of fruits update the content as well. And notice that the project toggle is on. So when, when this is on, the AI assistant will use project images 
if those are available. And if we toggle it off, then unsplash images will be used. So in this case, we have to have this on because we want to use project images. So we are using GPT 3.5, so let's see what it will do. Now we show the fruit, so we have kiwis, papayas, this is correct, peeled banana, red cherries, avocado hulls, red apples. So it does quite a good job, so like the title is not updated, uh, but other than that, looks okay, so we can ask a follow-up. Because at this time, yeah, I prefer to use uh, GPT 3.5 because simply because it's faster and also a lot cheaper. But as these models get more advanced and they they get faster and the prices kind of go down, uh, then it might make sense to just use GPT 4 or GPT 5 or whatever is next. So it did a good job for our fruits. And all of these images are our local project images. Um, now let's try and say... And we will do a new task, because this is not really a follow-up on the fruits, it's really a new task. And each time we do follow-up, like the whole previous conversation is sent back to the AI model. So it consumes a lot more tokens, and it should only be used when we really need kind of follow-up fine-tune, refining the, the previous task. So that's why we can just say new task. Now, when we want to show images of sports, and we also told the AI system to update the content, to update all content, uh, in order to avoid having to do a follow-up. So it didn't do very well. In a way, like with GPT 3.5, we have to be a little bit more precise. Let's do undo, and then let's just copy the, the command and, and say, show images of sports, and let's say use use project images so that with this instruction, like the AI will first check the project to see what images are available, and then it will use those images uh, for display. And without this, it goes the opposite. It just thinks of some sports that it could show, and then it tries to find matching images. So let's see if this will help. And now it works perfectly. So we have basketball, running, cycling, swimming, skiing, rock climbing. And there is another feature. So, for example, let's select the swimming card. And now let's ask the system, let's say, look at the image. and write a short story about it. And we can see that this phrase, look at the image, triggered, like the added the image into the prompt. 
And we can do that also with this icon here. Choose one or more images to include in the prompt. We can either select uh, a file or select an image from the photo browser, from the project, or we can say look at images in the selected element. But the same happens if we just say the phrase, look at the image or look at images. And then the images that are part of the selected element get included in the prompts. And now we can do the same here. We just select and say rerun the command. And now the image from this element is included in the prompt. And let me show you another feature. So first, let's uh, change these images to something else. So now we have a situation where images don't really fit the content, either because this was a template or because, I don't know, like unsplash images were used. And we have a smart function under image, smart fit image. And this function takes a look at the kind of tries to figure out the content that surrounds the image. And then based on this content, it figures out the best image either in within the project or uh, among unsplash images if project doesn't have images. So let's try on this one. And it works very fast because not everything is sent back and forward, only the image. And also it works on multiple images. So let's select these three images and say image smart fit image. And we got like skiing for skiing, rock climbing, and swimming. And all of this happens with GPT 3.5. So it's really fast and really cost effective. And there is another feature that can be used. So for example, here we can actually convert images into code, into HTML, uh, but that topic requires uh, a separate video, so we will take we will take a look at that next.